When India finalized its decision to purchase the Dassault Rafale fighter jets, many questioned why the Indian Air Force chose the French aircraft over the American F-15 Eagle and its advanced variants, especially considering the F-15's powerful capabilities and lower price. However, the choice wasn't based solely on cost, but on multiple strategic, operational, and geopolitical factors that made the Rafale a better fit for India's defense requirements. The Rafale is designed as a true multi-role fighter, capable of executing air superiority, ground strikes, reconnaissance, and nuclear deterrence missions, with a maximum speed of Mach 1.8. And weapons load 9,500 kilograms. It provides the Indian Air Force with flexibility across different combat scenarios. In contrast, the F-15EX, while also a formidable aircraft, is primarily built for air dominance and lacks the same level of operational versatility with a maximum speed of Mach 2.5 and a weapons load 13,300 kilograms. The F-15EX has superior payload capacity. The Rafale Balance design ensures it remains agile and adaptable for multi-mission capabilities. The Rafale has reduced radar cross-section due to its design making it less detectable in combat. While the F-15EX boasts sheer power and weapons capacity, it lacks significant stealth features. It is considerably larger, making it more visible on enemy radars, whereas the Rafale semi-stealth design ensures greater survivability in high-threat environments. The Rafale is specifically designed to operate in diverse environments. From sea level, bases to high altitude regions like Ladakh, it is equipped with two Snecma M88 engines that provide excellent thrust to weight ratio, allowing it to perform well in challenging terrains. The F-15EX, on the other hand, is a heavier aircraft with two General Electric F-110GE-129 engines and a maximum takeoff weight of 36,741 kilograms, which can limit its effectiveness in high-altitude operations compared to the Rafale. India's defense procurement policy prioritizes technology, transfer, and local production. The Rafale deal included provisions for technology transfer and collaboration with HAL, supporting India's long-term goal of developing indigenous fighter jets. The Make in India initiative played a crucial role in the selection process. The F-15EX, while an excellent aircraft, did not come with similar technology transfer offers, making it less appealing from a self-reliance perspective. India and France share a long-standing defense relationship, covering not just aircraft, but also submarines and space collaborations. France has been a reliable supplier, ensuring India receives full access to critical technology without geopolitical restrictions. In contrast, procuring the F-15EX would have increased India's reliance on the United States, which has a history of imposing export restrictions and sanction risks. While the upfront cost of the F-15EX is lower, the total cost of ownership over its lifespan, including maintenance and upgrades, can be significantly higher. The Rafale offers a balanced mix of affordability and capability, ensuring sustained operational efficiency for the IAF. The F-15EX has a design life of 8,000 flight hours and boasts a combat radius of 1,100 miles, 
but its larger size and fuel consumption can make long-term maintenance more expensive compared to the Raffle. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comment section. Hey there, are you pursuing aviation studies and struggling with aviation subjects? Don't worry. At Jetline Marvel, we bring over 10 years of experience in the aviation industry. We've crafted an amazing textbook packed with valuable content tailored to your graduation requirements. Check out our book on Amazon and order your copy today.